Hi guys, so ang topic ng discussion natin ngayon is how to be an engineer in the Philippines. So part na pag-uusapan natin is how to be recognized as an engineer in the Philippines. And what are the requirements and qualification to be an engineer? So hindi na natin patatagalin pa, let us dive into our discussion. <music> Well, hindi lahat na mag-a-approach sa'yo at na mag-claim kung sino man sila ay paniniwalaan na natin, di ba? Kapag sinabi nilang polisya, sinisigurado natin talaga bang polisya or kung doktor ba siya bago tayo magpagamot, sinisigurado natin talagang doktor yan. Well, ganun din naman sa mga engineers. Well, on the same way, on these professions, the classification of being an engineer is governed by law and the institution or commission authorized by law. In our case, it is the Professional Regulation Commission. Therefore, mahalaga na mapag-usapan natin yung engineering law sa Pilipinas. Well, there are different laws in different fields of engineering. But in our discussions, pag-uusapan lang natin is yung Chemical Engineering and Mechanical Engineering Law. But more or less, halos pareho lang naman yung mga requirement and qualifications. Well, we are already aware that there are many schools, universities, or colleges that are offering the engineering courses. But the question is, are you already an engineer after graduating an engineering course? So, sasagutin natin yan mamaya, no? Then, what are the requirements and qualification to be a licensed engineer? Okay, so who are the engineers? So, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, magre-refer tayo sa engineering law. So, unahin natin yung chemical engineering law, which is the Republic Act 9297. Well, in Section 3, Part G, We will see the definition of chemical engineer. A chemical engineer is a natural person who is a duly registered and who is a holder of a valid certificate of registration and professional identification card issued by the Board of Chemical Engineering and the Professional Regulation Commission. So according to this law, to be classified as a chemical engineer, you must be a holder of valid certificate of registration and the professional identification card. So, yun ang unang-una natin kailangan makuha. No? And in mechanical engineering law, it states the same. The issuance of a certificate of registration by the board to a registrant is evidence that the person named therein is entitled to all the privileges of a registered and licensed professional mechanical engineer, mechanical engineer, or certified plant mechanic. So, kailangan din ng certificate of registration, no? And on the same way, kailangan din yung professional license. No person shall practice mechanical engineering in this country unless such person shall have secured a license to practice mechanical engineering in the manner herein provided. So, dalawa yung kailangan natin, no? Yung certificate of registration and yung license natin na ini-issue ng Professional Regulation Commission. Well, this is an example of the certificate of registration. At ito naman is yung professional identification card. And makukuha lang natin itong mga ito once we pass the engineering board exam. Well, alam na natin na ngayon na kailangan natin itong dalawang requirement na to para maklassified as an engineer. So, let us see now what the law states about the certificate of registration and the professional identification card. Well, this is taken from the Chemical Engineering Law, which is the Republic Act 9297. In here, properly defined kung ano ba yung Certificate of Registration and the Professional Identification Card. Well, I would like to stress out that as per this law, you can see that the Professional Identification Card has a validity of 3 years. So, every 3 years, we need to renew our Professional Identification Card. Well, if you remember by definition, a chemical engineer must have both the valid certificate of registration and the professional identification card. Therefore, kailangan lagi ring updated yung identification card natin. The same goes sa mechanical engineering. Meron siyang 3 years validity period. Well, if you want to know more about the other fields of engineering, well, you can check the law specified for that particular field para makita ninyo kung ano ba yung sinasabi ng batas about the renewal of the professional license on your chosen field. 
Well, it's very important na ma-renew natin yung license natin. No? Well, I stress this out because I know many engineers, lalo na yung mga nasa abroad, na matagal nang hindi na re-renew ang kanilang license. Dahil they only go back to our country for vacation. No? So, it's a very short period of time. So, so far, nalaman natin na to become an engineer, you need to have the certificate of registration and the professional identification card, which you can only get by passing the board exam. But the question now is, who can take the board exam? Kahit ba sino pwedeng mag-take ng board exam? And what are the qualifications and the requirements in order to take the board exam? So, yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, we would like to ask for your support by subscribing to our YouTube channel. We are also inviting you to register to our website, www.engineers.org. So, here are the qualifications for the board examinations because, as I said, ang question is, who can take the board exam? So, this is what the law says in, based on the chemical engineering law. And this is based on the mechanical engineering law. So, halos pareho lang naman yung mga qualification natin. First, he or she must be a citizen of the Philippines. He or she is of good moral character. He or she has not been convicted of an offense involving moral turpitude by a court of competent jurisdiction. And finally, he or she is a graduate of a school, institute, college, or university recognized by the government and has been conferred the degree of Bachelor of Science in Engineering or its equivalent. So, pareho lang yung requirement ng Mechanical Engineering and Chemical Engineering, no? So, basically, ito rin naman yung mga qualification in other engineering fields. Well, let us say that you are qualified to take the board exam. So, ano yung mga requirement para makapag-take ng board exam? Well, let us have a look on Section 17 of the Chemical Engineering Law. Kasi, basically, pareho lang din naman yan in other fields of engineering. First, you need to have your birth certificate, yung NSO copy, yung marriage contract if you are married, and issued by NSO. Yung ating transcript of records, dapat properly specified that the purpose of the transcript of record is for the board exam. Your college diploma, to prove that you're a graduate of engineering. Your certification of moral character. And yung NBI clearance. So, kukuha ka rin ng NBI clearance. Well, mas maganda that ahead of time, available na tong mga requirements natin kasi mahirap yung kung kailan malapit na yung exam sa ka pa lang nagpe-prepare ng mga requirements mo. Dapat bago mag-exam, focus ka na sa exam. Mahihirapan ka kung saka mo lang lalakarin yung mga requirement mo kung kailan kailangan mo na mag-aral. Well, again, to become an engineer, kailangan mo na ang certificate of registration and professional identification card na makukuha mo lang when you pass the board exam. And para naman makapasa ka ng board exam, kailangan mo muna maging graduate of Bachelor of Science in Engineering from a school, institute, college, or university recognized by the government. And of course, para makagraduate ka, kailangan mo muna mag-enroll in ng Bachelor of Science in Engineering course from a school, institute, college, or university recognized by the government. Well, that's all for now guys and thank you for watching. I hope that you will register sa ating website in www.engineers.org Ito yung website kung saan we built a community for Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. So that's all for now. Thank you very much and have a nice day.